if it was Tuesday on campus and a friend of yours comes up to you and says, hey, there's this great new movie being released Friday night. Do you want to come? How many of you would commit on Tuesday to go to the movie Friday night? Some of you would. How many of you wouldn't? Okay, that most of you wouldn't. Why? Why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you go? Let's say if you really were free. You were free Friday night. And the movie's okay. You you thought you wouldn't mind seeing it. Why don't you commit on Tuesday night to go to that movie Friday? Something better might come up, right? There might be a a, a party that night you'd want to go to. Or maybe that girl you're hoping you can go on a date with will be available that night. some, Some other option can come up. So you don't commit. You don't say yes right away. Well, then here's my question. Why don't you say no? Why don't you just come back and say, oh, thanks so much for the invitation. That's really kind, but uh, I think I might do something else that night. Why don't you tell your friend no? Because you don't want to be a loser on Friday night. All right, what, if there's no, what if there's nothing else better to do? So you at least want to have this as an option. So we often, uh, particularly our generation, we're just so afraid to commit to anything Not just marriage or a relationship, but just what am I going to do on a Friday night? I'm afraid to commit to that. So what we do is we don't tell our friend yes, but we don't tell them no. So instead we say, well, hey, I want to, let me get back to you. You know, let let me think about that. I I, I can't commit now, but I don't want to say no to you because you, my dear friend, I want to keep you as a backup. (laughs) How many of you have done that? It's a form of utilitarianism. <laughs> John Paul II would actually say that. that, that there's, a, there's an element in which I'm looking at this person more in terms of what I get out of them. And I'm only showing that as an example of how this, this, this attitude can creep into even very good Christian hearts.